May I know who started this nuisance in the classroom? No, not me. No, not me. It's him. It's her. Bunty, Molly, it's Sasha. It's him. Stop it. It's her. Sasha, Molly, Bobby, Sandy, Pete, and you to Gobby, come out of your classroom and follow me. Today, you kids are going to be severely punished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're being a nuisance to this school, and you deserve this punishment. Why do we get punished all the time? It's not our mistake. Now everybody will make fun of us. My friends will tease me. If we keep missing our classes, we will fail in the exams. Yes, you are right. Me too. Even at home, we get punishment and beating all the time. You know, yesterday, my mom punished me. Wow. Mom, what's so special today? You made such a lovely dinner. Nothing very special. It's just a lovely treat for all of you. Stop. Did you wash your hands? Yes, I did long ago. No, you didn't. Go right now to the wash basin and wash your hands. Mom, I'm too hungry. This is not the right way to eat. Close your mouth while you eat your food. No, mom. This is the way I like to eat. You shouldn't be talking while eating, Sasha. Sasha, this is not the way to eat. Mom, let me eat my way. Ah! <laughs> I did nothing wrong. I was too hungry. Even I was punished yesterday for no reason. Who are you? I don't know, but first tell me your name. Pete, who is on the phone? And why are you shouting so much? I don't know. He says his name is George Uncle. Give me the phone. Don't you know how to talk on the phone? I have taught you so many times. Father, this is my way of talking on the phone. You deserve to be punished for such a rude behavior. Even my parents punished me. Oh my god, Bobby, what have you done? This is not the way to keep your room. Mom, it's my room and it's my style. Ah, 
really so i need to teach you the right living style come on knee down ah. this is the only way to teach you you know even i get punishment all the time hello dear is your dad at home yes he is and what do you want i have some work with him oh hello jack what a pleasant surprise to see you please come inside molly could you please get a glass of water for uncle why should i i'm not a servant to do all this work molly you better obey or i'll punish you i must teach you how to behave with guest you know i was punished in the public place Ah uh ah -uh. this is not the right way throw in the dustbin Wonder to all father Afterwards afterwards not now okay Please father Okay please, okay father. now no more crying Please father please father No father I won't leave the shop until you buy those toys for me It is too bad to get punished all the time. But how to avoid these punishments? I really don't know. Let's call Maya. She can definitely tell us how to avoid punishments. Maya, please come. Maya, please come. We are in a problem. Maya please come Maya please come we are in a problem Hello children how are you and how can i help you Maya we are in big problem everybody treats us badly Why are we punished all the time? We are mischievous, naughty like other kids. But why are we blamed all the time? Oh, don't worry. I will help you to become the best kids in your school. And your parents will be happy with your behavior and manners. Come on, let's go to the right place. Hooray! Wow! Hello kids I am your teacher for good behavior and manners Could you please introduce yourself to me I'm Molly I'm Sasha I'm Bobby Beats I'm Molly Sasha Hey Bobby Hey Molly This is not the right way Be patient while introducing yourself.
Hello, I am Sandy. Hello, I am Gobi. I'm Molly. I'm Sasha. Hello, I'm Bobby. Hello, I'm Pete. That's so much better. And you are all so wonderful. And my name is Miss Good. All right, kids. I must leave now. And I'm sure this training will definitely help you. Bye bye. After a long day in school, you kids must be hungry, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, then let us start our training with some good lunch. Hey kids, before rushing to the food, you must wash your hands. I know you all are hungry, but if you don't wash your hands, you may fall sick. And don't you know how doctors treat? Oh yes, doctors give injections and it's very painful. That's better. Now, Let's start with our lunch. Stop it! That's not the right way. You must ask politely for plates, spoons and food that you can't reach. That's better. Remember, never overfill your plates with food you can't eat. After all, it's bad manners to waste food. And now you can start eating. But eat neatly and slowly with your mouth closed. And always take a small bite. And no talking while eating your food. After you finish your food, keep the plate and bowl properly. Ask for the glass of water politely. Sandy, may I have a glass of water please? Oh, sure. Why not? That's excellent. Now, don't you forget these table manners. What is the first thing you will do after eating your food? We will wash our hands. Very good. I'm feeling great, Sandy. It's very amazing to come here. Miss Good is so nice. Hello, what is your name? No, first tell me your name. I want to know your name. Oh dear Pete, this is not the right way to speak on phone.
Let me show you. Watch and listen to me carefully. Kids, when the phone rings, lift the receiver softly and also talk in it softly and politely. Hello, I am Miss Good. Yes. Okay. Oh, so you want to talk to Sandy. Please hold on while I call him. How was that kid? So, how easy telephone manners are? And what if Sandy is not there? In that case, note down the name of the person calling. And one more important thing, never call your friends at unusual hours. Pete always does that to us. No, it's Sandy. <laughs> but from now onwards, you will never do that again. No, never. We will be polite on the phone and always talk with respect. How wonderful. Let's have some more fun. How would you welcome a guest when he visits your home? I was punished because of a guest. Oh dear. I will teach you the right manner to treat your guest. Okay kids, watch me carefully. When the doorbell rings, open the door with a smile. Say hello to your guest. Talk to your guest politely. Ask him who he wants to meet. However, if your guest is a stranger, do not open the safety door. If you know your guest, open the safety door and invite him inside. Request him to be seated. Then, inform your parents about the arrival of the guest. And you do help your mother in serving water and snacks to the guests. Wow, it's amazing and so simple. I wish I could have known this before. No problem. It's never too late. Hope you are all having a great time here. Oh yes, madam. We are enjoying. And yes, never create nuisance at home. Bobby does that all the time. No, it just happened. Never mind. From now onwards, you must take care. Always knock the door before you enter a room. Don't enter the house with your shoes on. Never enter the house weeping and crying. Never make loud noises when someone is sleeping. Always talk softly and politely with your family members. Always listen to your parents and help them in keeping your home clean and beautiful. From now onwards, you will be a good member of your family. Yes! And you should also be a good student of your school. But we always get punished for something or the other. Don't you play mischief in your classroom? And may I know what song you sing all the time in your class? Bobby always sings Apnito Pat Shala Masti Ki Pat Shala. <laughs> That's too bad. School is the most honorable place of all. And you must respect and obey your teachers. Never disobey your teacher. Always be on time. Go to school with neat and clean uniforms. 
Be good friends with your classmates. Always do your homework and study hard. If you follow these simple rules, you will always be successful. Yeah! Wow! But what about Sandy? He was punished at a public place. Oh Sandy, don't worry. Let me teach you manners at a public place. Never throw wrappers or banana skin on roads. Always use the dustbin. Never cry for toys in the shops. Request your parents in buying one for you. Always thank the sales assistant. When you are at public places, never talk to strangers. Always be with your parents. Isn't that simple to be a good kid? Madam, from now on, we will never misbehave at home. We will never misbehave at public places or at school. That's like good citizens of India. Be polite and respect elders and your teachers. Always keep your home and city clean. Hello Miss Good. How are the kids doing? They are wonderful. And from now on, they will behave politely and respectfully. Oh, that's just great. Now it is a time for kids to go home. Hey kids, do practice what you have just learnt, okay? It's a promise!